Hi amazing Scorpios, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a love reading for May 2020 for Scorpio Sun Moon Rising as well as Mercury and Venus. I'm wishing you all a healthy and safe May. Let's get into your reading. Four of Swords, the Moon card, Seven of Cups, Knight of Swords, Crowning, King of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Okay, there's a lot of fours here, Scorpio. We got Four of Swords, Four of Pentacles. Okay, so at this time, you could be seeing the number 444 a lot, 555 a lot, 666 six, six, and 777. Seven. Okay. That card wanted to come out. We have the Aquarius card, the star. Interesting. Eight of cups. Eight of cups. Hmm. Okay. Last but not least, nine of cups. Okay. So automatically, Scorpio, the energy that I'm getting here is very no nonsense, okay? No nonsense, no drama, ain't got time for that. I'll see you around the way, you know, call me later. It's that kind of energy, Scorpio, that I'm feeling for you guys for this month for sure, okay? So a lot of you could be very, very busy at this time with work, um, obligations, responsibilities. There's an overwhelming energy here of kind of like a balancing act, okay, when it comes to your private life um, versus your social life. So it just feels like, uh, you know, due to the circumstance right now with what's going on, you know, still trying to keep in contact with loved ones, you know, family, stuff like that. But then on the other hand, you know, looking towards the future, focusing on the future. So there could be a lot of you, I feel right now, who are newly single or you're thinking about being single. And of course, if you're not in that category, you know, just ignore that message. But there is a really, really strong energy here of someone holding back. So I get the strong impression, Scorpio, that someone is holding back feelings for you. This could also be what you're trying to hide. I feel like maybe you're trying to hide emotions, like squash down feelings for a certain person from your past, okay? But there is still a strong energy here of moving forward, wanting to just move forward in a clear direction. I'm also hearing the word victory, Okay, so just wanting to have a lot of victory, whatever you do, you want it to be right, you want it to be fulfilling for you, Scorpio. And I really get this impression that when it comes to love, you want the best of the best. Uh, maybe in the past, Scorpio, you felt shortchanged, you felt like you were dealing with people that didn't deserve your time, didn't deserve your energy or your money. That's also coming across very strongly with the Four of Pentacles. You know, this energy of, you know, wanting to reserve, preserve, not just give everything away, you know, not spill your heart out, wear your heart out on your sleeve. So perhaps in the past, you felt like you made a mistake, Scorpio. You feel like you were, you were just in relationships with friends or just even romantic, I feel like, just both. You were dealing with people that you felt did not deserve you. And that's what I feel I'm getting the most so far from the energy with the cards I see here. You don't feel like you need to return to this person now. If you did walk away from someone, Scorpio, this person still wants you, okay? We are in May of 2020, so we're going into a brand new month here. And we also have a Scorpio full moon on the 7th of May on a Thursday. So with that said, you know, take that information how you will, all right? But there is definitely an energy here of 
someone still wants to be with you. Someone still wants to get to know you, Scorpio, okay? So especially for those who walked away from someone, I get the strong feeling here that you are a wish granted, okay? Nine of Cups, you are absolutely a wish granted to this person that you walked away from. I see it right here in the cards. Eight of Cups, eight to the nine. Eight of Cups, nine of Cups, most definitely Scorpio, okay? So if you walked away from someone or you're making plans right now to leave someone, if you're married or you're living together, um, this person I feel here is still holding on okay they may not be holding on as tight as tight as they were before um but whoever this person is scorpio they are boy oh boy they are still reminiscing they're still dreaming about you um this person could be in your dreams this person could be popping up in your dreams you know so i just feel like this person is trying to communicate with you um this really feels like strong scorpio venus Scorpio sun vibes okay so I'm seeing so in terms of the, the sign let's see what sign this could be or what signs want to show okay that you could be dealing with ace of cups six of pentacles strength card Leo okay so Leo is the most predominant energy this is a fire sign. So this person, this could be a water sign with fire and earth in their chart. Knight of Swords. Okay. So Major Libra, Leo, fellow Scorpio, Capricorn, and Taurus vibes. Okay. That's what I'm getting. It could be any other sign. This is just what I see in your chart of this person's chart that I'm referring to. Okay. So I just feel like there is an energy of unfinished business. I have to be honest, Scorpio. I, you know, one of you, one of you, I feel here is ready to set sail, you know, just completely ready to just get on the boat and just paddle away from all of this, you know, just, it's almost an energy of like, I give up, you know, I give up, I throw my towel, I'm walking away, I don't care anymore. Um, but it's like, as you're this person's walking away, it's like, did I make the right choice? Um, unfinished business, Scorpio, there's unfinished business here. I feel for sure. Okay. Could be any sign, could be any sign. So this person right now I'm seeing here, Scorpio is trying to gain strength. They're really having a hard time without you. Um, you know, if this was a breakup or a separation, yeah, they are having a very hard time without you, but I definitely see here in the cards that this person is trying to gain strength to make their way back around towards you. The six of pentacles is a extremely balanced energy. It's, you know, I give you this, you give me that. It's a fair exchange of love. So this person, if you had problems with this person giving you you know, fair treatment, their time. Um, now this person's like, I got to give this Scorpio, you know, all my time. You know, now this person's saying to themselves, I got to really offer something big. So I feel Scorpio that this person is working on something, working on a surprise for you. That's what I get here. This could be in the form of a loan, paying off debt, you know, promotion, uh, breakthrough, you know, new money, you know, multiple streams of income. It's that kind of vibe, especially where this person is working very hard now. Okay. Now to, I feel come in with an offer. Okay. So this person wants to offer truth. This person's going to offer money for a lot of you. And most importantly, they're going to offer a new beginning. Ace of Cups, Scorpio, they're going to offer you their heart. So don't be surprised, Scorpio, if throughout the month of May, you have multiple options, you know, different people, you know, out of the blue, trying to confess their feelings, trying to offer you, 
You know, I'm hearing the phrase baby steps. So it feels like maybe this person is working on baby steps, you know, you know, first dating, then marriage. You know what I'm saying? It's not like this person wants to skip steps. I feel like somebody here in this connection does not want to skip steps. So we have the card of deception. Someone is wearing a false mask. We have unrequited love. So what I get, oh, wow. So what I feel here, Scorpio, is like you're fearing that this person is going to play with your heart again. You're feeling that this person's no good, okay? So absolutely, if this person comes back and they have not changed, they have not improved, they're not offering you that fair exchange of love, six of pentacles, then okay, of course you're going to walk away. Of course you're going to go into the sunset to manifest a new person, a new relationship, right? express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture so regardless of what happened in the past scorpio this person still wants to make a move on you i i do i do feel that this person could even want to offer marriage okay we have reconciliation in reverse we had a reconciliation come out reversed so that shows me that this person, you want to turn this person down. I do feel like you feel you think this person's deceptive, Scorpio. You don't trust them. Um, but I, I really do feel like when there is going to be a clear space and opportunity for you and this person to talk again, this person will take it, okay? So for example, you unblock them, you hear about them, there's rufflings about their 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 well-being or what they're doing career-wise. I feel like this person's trying to figure something out about you, Scorpio. That just came that just came up as well as I was looking at the cards that vibe just totally came up. So I feel like this person's trying to get information on you. Could be from friends, family, social media. Um, if you guys work together, they're asking about you. Are you dating someone? Um, are you are you staying with someone? Like, where are you at? What are you doing? Um, you know, like, what's the deal? Okay, so this person's asking around wedding in reverse wedding in reverse so i think i think in the past someone could have been a player and even though they were a player or they were doing things they shouldn't they shouldn't be doing they still wanted to offer this to you but i feel like you shut them down i think that something came out scorpio and because something came out you know their opportunities were cut short you know this person's ability to advance towards you was totally cut short why because something came out something deceptive was revealed so it's it's a I would say 50-50, Scorpio. It's really up to you. You know, do you trust them? You know, a relationship has to be built on trust. If there is no trust in communication, you know, it's, it's, you're left, you're left in a very uh, fragile position. Okay. So like I said, if this person is balanced, and really wants this and you really want this you guys can have a fresh beginning you guys can have a new brand new start ace of cups uh but it's this trust thing it's this uh deceptive energy that i feel has you stumped scorpio one of you is stumped on this idea of moving forward it feels like you're not sure if you should move forward or not okay but i do see that this person was trying to come forward, but something was shut down. So I really think you block them or you cut them off. There could have been some harsh words exchanged. And because of the Scorpio, it most definitely feels like this person was shut down. So whether you know it or not, I think this person was wanting to have, you know, both of these cards upright, the wedding card upright, the reconciliation card upright, but somewhere along the line, 
something went really, really wrong here, okay? But I do feel that this person wants to show you and prove to you, you know, inside, deep down, Scorpio, they want to show you that they're stronger than this, that they're better than how they acted in the past. You know, that's what I get. Like, they do want to show you, Scorpio, that they're, that they're better than this, you know, but they that they have more to offer you than what they were showing you in the past. Um, but unfortunately, it's it, the ball is in your court, okay? I, I think that the ball is in your court, Scorpio, um, females especially, okay? The ball is in your court because I think you snoop something out. I feel like you found something out. And because of this, they're in the hot seat. And that's why we have the wedding card reverse and the reconciliation card reverse because they were shot down, okay? Case closed. Calling in your soulmate. So this person is praying for you, Scorpio. This person's this person's love for you, Scorpio, is never ending. It's like I'm getting a visual of a river. So maybe you and this person talked about rivers or beaches or whatever. It, this person's love for you is still flowing. Uh, maybe not on your side, Scorpio, but this person, their love for you is still flowing. They still feel this connection to you and they want you back. This person wants you back. They're calling you in. You know, they're calling you in, Scorpio, because they know that they shortchanged you. They didn't show you the, the, them. They didn't show you their strength, whether it's, you know, strength and fidelity, strength and communication. They didn't show you the best version of themselves. So now I feel like now they want to change. Now they want to show you that they're better. They're stronger than this. You see what I'm saying? Okay, we have the card free yourself. Free yourself in reverse. Hmm. Worth waiting for. Worth waiting for. So perhaps you are this person's waiting for a love offer. And we have separation, right? So exactly, the cards confirm that, yes, you both are apart. You know, you you went your own way, Scorpio. I, I do feel this very strongly. You, you feel like this person's never going to change. You feel like this person doesn't care. You feel like this person uh, doesn't really care about how they treated you. You know, it's kind of the energy of like, if you really cared, you'd apologize, you would step up. Uh, but the separation confirms that, you know, you have walked away. Okay, so worth waiting for. It gives me the vibe that they're waiting for your answer. You know, they're calling you in and they're waiting for an answer. This could be spiritually. This could be physically. There is a dynamic here where this person's waiting and they're calling. So whoever is calling and signaling is the person who's waiting. They're waiting for you to 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 feel it, to feel that that love, to feel that that vibe. So it's kind of like they're waiting, you're kind of waiting, but you're still moving on. Um so I feel in your side, Scorpio, like you're waiting for the chapter to close, you know, even the book, maybe like the whole shebang. But on their end, it's like they're waiting for a cycle to close. It's it's totally different. So like you're waiting for this to be for for like all the feelings just to be shut down, like just done with this person. They're waiting for the cycle to close to start a new cycle with you. So in there, and so just so you know, Scorpio, if this resonates with you, in this person's mind, it's not entirely over, okay? That's what I'm getting here. In this person's mind, it's not entirely over, and they are calling you in. They're doing everything they can. They're doing affirmations, prayers, visualization. Like this person, Scorpio, is doing everything. They're literally doing everything to get you back. And they're waiting for a sign. They're waiting for a sign from the universe. It's actually very beautiful energy, Scorpio. This person's waiting for a sign from the universe that they can, that, 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 that signaling, that's going to tell them and signal to them, your person, to move forward, to offer you Ace of Cups. 
So they're waiting like you. You both are in this energy of like a waiting room, you know, waiting for a sign, okay? But I do get more so with you, with you, Scorpio, that you want to close this. You want to shut this down. That's what I get, okay? And the reason why you want to shut it down is because there's no trust here. There's zero trust, deception. It feels like the love Scorpio has been kind of like drained out of the cup here, you know, tilted over and never to, to be refilled. That's kind of how it feels. But this person, I think Scorpio is not convinced. Okay. This person, whoever this person is, they're definitely not convinced that you and this person are over. This person, Scorpio, is relying upon divine timing. This could also be you, okay? Take it how it applies, but this person I see here is waiting for divine timing. They're waiting. They're waiting patiently for you to forgive, for you to, like, almost come back around, but I don't see that happening, okay? So for those who are initiating conversation, um, want to offer the Ace of Cups, I think that, you know, now more than ever, I would say, you know, you have to make it clear because this Scorpio, this person with the Eight of Cups, whoever this person is with the Eight of Cups, this person's not coming back. Uh, that's what I get. So it's like the energy here is like, don't don't wait if you don't have to. If you want a new beginning with, with a Scorpio and you're watching for a Scorpio, whatever other sign there is, I would definitely say um, don't wait for the Scorpio to, you know, rush back in because they're not. Like their back is turned, eight of cups, okay? Their back is turned because all the cups are spilled over. This person's unfulfilled. The Scorpio right here does not feel content and is looking elsewhere. Their back is turned. So don't, don't wait for the Scorpio to do what they did before because they're not gonna. That's a strong message here. If, if you're waiting for them to act a certain way, either they've changed or they've left the building. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio man and you're a female watching, whatever, they're going to come back a different person. They want to come back as a different person. But if this is the person I'm talking about who's leaving, don't expect this person to be texting you, texting you because they're not gonna. They're walking away, okay? So the final message I feel from Spirit here is, pull a card yep the answers you need are coming full moon and gemini have faith in your dreams be bold make the first move what did i tell you cardinal moon what did i tell you if you're a cardinal sign cancer libra be bold, make the first move. But what I tell you, see, the Scorpio is not going to do it this, this month. Work through your fears. New moon and Scorpio. How funny. So we have new moon, Scorpio, cardinal moon, right? So like I said, so, so spirit just reiterated what I just said. Spirit totally backed up what I just said. The final message is be bold, make the first move towards a Scorpio because the Scorpio is not going to do it towards you. Okay. Um, if they're the ones who walked away, they're not going to do it, okay? So whoever wants to, so basically whoever wants to offer the Ace of Cups, whoever wants to offer the Ace of Cups, this message is for you. It's saying be bold, be bold, you know, say, speak from the heart. I would say speak from the heart um, because you are in separation with the Scorpio and make the first move. That is definitely a clear sign from spirit. Make the first move with the Ace of Cups or they're done. They're gone. They're not going to come back because they're not happy with the deceit, the lies, the cheating, the overworking, the ignoring. Long story short, Scorpio feels shortchanged. They want justice. You have to offer that cup. They're not going to beg for it. They're not going to run back for it. They're out. They're out. Okay? So all the best to all parties involved. I will see you all in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and tap the bell. Beautiful reading, Scorpio, for your love reading for this month. Um, I'll be updating videos all month long, so do not worry. All the best to all parties involved. Make the best decision. Be true to your heart and much love and peace to you all. Bye.